Let's do it. Hey guys, today we're gonna make a really fun summer recipe. We saw another viral TikTok recipe that we just had to try. It is the mason jar ice cream by Buttermilk by Sam. Her recipe looks so easy, and mason jar ice cream isn't a new thing, but her spin promises us creamy ice cream, and I'm all for that. Me too, it's the beginning of summer, so this is like a brilliant idea to make this recipe today. Very simple, right? Because we are literally putting our ingredients into our mason jars. And she has it down that you should use 16 ounce mason jars. I'm using eight, so I am halving them. And I'm actually really excited. That means that I can do four different flavors. All right, so we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of sugar per serving. And she also has us put in a little cream cheese. The reason for this cream cheese is that it's going to, of course, give you the creaminess, but it's going to make your ice cream. <laughs> Sorry, let's start over. <laughs> um, condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk. We need a little vanilla extract, a little pinch of sea salt. And then the star of the show, you must use heavy whipping cream, right? Heavy cream, heavy whipping cream is the same thing, but make sure it is the heavy kind. But you wanna use an electric mixer. They say you can do it manually, but it's gonna take like so long. So thanks to her, she experimented <laughs> to improve upon the recipe. So it had the creaminess that we want in the ice cream, but still had the good flavors and still was scoopable. So it really was like ice cream. You ready to make a mess? All right, I think we're supposed to do it until there's no more lumps. How do I check for lumps? Do I stick my fingers in there? All right, I think mine's smooth because, oh, I get a little more of a peak. Okay, okay, can you see that? All right, so now we can do the fun part. So you can leave it as is and you get your basic or classic vanilla flavor. You can add in sprinkles or like chocolate chips and you'll only want to do about one to two tablespoons of it um, per serving. You can also add flavor like chocolate syrup or Nutella or peanut butter. I don't know if you've ever looked into making ice cream, but it's um, never been possible because it always said you needed an ice cream machine, which we don't have. The really good thing about this recipe, the reviews, so many of them say it actually worked. So Kat and I are hoping that we get to say the same thing too. That was too easy, right Gina? Uh, we're gonna taste these on our own tonight. We will let you guys know if this is as good as everyone says it is on TikTok, right? If this tastes as good as I think it should, I'm not going to buy any of that fancy schmancy stuff, and especially because we know exactly yeah. what's going in this. Exactly. So we don't have mm -hmm. to get up and go to get ice cream. We don't have to ever move. We can just sit <laughs> at home <laughs> and eat ice cream. I need ice cream. <laughs> Okay, it's just before bed and I remember that I needed to check on the ice cream. And you know what? It worked. It worked. Actually, it's been three and a half hours. I just couldn't wait. So it is a little soft. I think if I waited 30 more minutes, it would have made a difference. But I'm scooping it. It's a little on the softer side, but it looks like ice cream. So for the final taste test, Guys, this is ice cream. I made ice cream! I can't believe it! And this is so good! It is more rich and creamier than regular ice cream. This is officially ice cream. Someone did it, and you don't need an ice cream machine to make one. All right, 
What do you think, Kat? Ooh, look at this. Does it live up to our expectations? Mm. Whoa, whoa. This is good. It is so creamy. Everything is so good. Thank you to Buttermilk by Sam for making this TikTok video and sharing it with us. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you like and subscribe and that you make this. And we will see you guys again next week. Bye.